Hello and welcome back to a new video. I am back with a new styling challenge that I haven't seen anyone doing before, but I also don't think it's all that original. So if you know someone who's done it, please let me know. But I am gonna try a thing for a week or two, I haven't quite decided yet, as per usual when I start my videos, where I change out one piece per day. Not one piece, one piece, one item, one something I am wearing. <laughs> and for this I mean the top or the bottom. If I'm wearing a cardigan or something extra on top, that is not really included. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be cardigan weather quite yet. It's about 17 to 20 degrees Celsius right now, so a little bit warm for that, which on the one hand nice, on the other hand I just want fall now. It's pouring down rain every other day or so, and I just want fall and cozy sweaters and all that. But yes, I'm gonna be swapping out one item per day, and once something has been swapped out, it's sort of out of the running to be worn again. I'm struggling with what to call this challenge, but I'm gonna show you Monday and Tuesday, today is actually Wednesday, and show you what I did for those, and hopefully that will clear some things up for you guys. I know what I'm doing, but for you guys. Okay, here we have the outfit for day number one, the Monday outfit. Not that it really matters which day of the week I wore it, apart from being outfit number one. So this consists of one of my favorite white shirts. I have a lot of white shirts. If you've been here before, you know I like them a lot. This is an oversized one that I wear a lot in summer, though I haven't actually worn it that much this summer. Not because I wore other white shirts, I don't think. Just that I've been branching out and wearing things that aren't white shirts. Shocking. Anyway, I am wearing this shirt, which is, you know, a collared white button down with this linen dress that I still, after having owned it for like six months, I don't know the color. <laughs> I want to say it's beige, but then I put it next to some other beige things I have, namely a specific skirt, and it looks khaki. I think it's just a cool tone beige. Doesn't really matter. It's a linen dress. It has the biggest pockets I've ever seen. I could put at least one cat per pocket, full-sized, big, chunky cats. Great. And I have paired this with this belt that I've had for years. And I really like how that looks, that it cinches the dress in a bit. And then the dress flares out with those really big pockets as well. It has a lot of movement and I really, really like it. I don't love this dress as much without the belt, which is interesting to me because it does have its own cinching in the front right here. But I think it's just something about how the belt cinches a little bit more or gives a little bit more definition with it being a contrasting color. I wore this outfit, I'm pretty sure, in my dopamine dressing video. Either way, I'll link it up here. And I wore it with a hat. I did not wear a hat this time around because rain, or I expected rain, and it didn't actually rain much. But yes, really, really loving this outfit. For day two of this challenge, I have kept the white shirt. Now you can see a little bit more of what it looks like when it's not mostly covered up by a dress. And then I've paired the white shirt with this pair of jeans that I've had for a while. I really like the wash of these jeans, and they are almost super high-waisted. They are nice and high-waisted, but I am wearing them with the same belt I wore yesterday, which is a choice. All of this, I suppose, is a choice, but I didn't have to keep any accessories and I didn't have to swap any accessories out. Accessories are free game for this challenge, but I'm wearing them with the same belt from yesterday and where yesterday it fit really well. It's a little bit snug right now, and that is because my natural waist sits around here which is like, I don't know, an inch, maybe half an inch. I don't do inches, a couple centimeters higher than where the belt sits right now, making it a little bit too small, but it works. This was a very comfortable outfit. The belt felt a little bit too tight at times, at which point I took it off. But yeah, it was a comfortable outfit. And now having worn the shirt for two days, the shirt is going tomorrow and the pants are what is staying for another day. I hope that it's cleared up a little bit what I'm trying to do with this experiment. Let me know. <laughs> and that brings us to today, where I have kept the jeans on and I'm wearing this really bold button-down shirt, which I've had for a few years and I keep going back and forth about whether or not to keep it. Because while I like some bold clothing, I feel like this might be a little bit too out there, even for me and my style. I decided to not wear the belt today since it didn't quite work yesterday. And overall, I quite like this outfit, even though I'm a bit iffy on the shirt. All right, so I hope that's cleared it up a little bit. This, of course, means that this 
shirt will be staying tomorrow and the jeans will be swapped out for something else. Accessories, like I mentioned in yesterday's clip, are off limits. No, they're off the table. They don't, they don't count. I can wear them, I can not wear them, I can repeat them, whatever I want to do. But top or bottom changes. And I was a little bit uncertain when I started the experiment because I did think about it for like a week before I started to do it. I was thinking about dresses because I can't just wear a dress for this experiment because then I'd be nude the following day. And that's that's not what we're going for here. But I feel like the Monday dress worked because that served mostly as a skirt. There was a shirt underneath which I could wear the following day. I could have also kept the dress the same and swapped out what I wore on top of or under the dress. But the dress served sort of like a skirt and so I feel like it's fine. And I think that I'll work throughout, though I don't know how many dresses I'm gonna wear for this experiment. I do know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow, apart from the shirt, I already have an idea. And I think the shirt is loud, like I said. I think that will make the shirt louder. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I feel about it. And then the following day, on Friday, we are going to the bank to talk about our mortgage. And I don't need to tone down what I'm wearing, Probably, but I also feel like it's gonna be a lot brighter than what some other people are gonna be wearing. My husband is also a big fan of color, so he will probably also be colorful. So I shouldn't feel... I shouldn't feel a little bit awkward about it, and especially I shouldn't feel awkward about it two days before I'm going, because that's just a waste of energy. But I think that's it for right now, and I'll just be back with tomorrow's outfit tomorrow, and we'll take it from there, and hopefully this turns into a wearable challenge and I mean I don't see why you wouldn't. I am the one making all the decisions and I am, my plan for tomorrow is actually making it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be in terms of color, you know? So I don't see why this would be a problem. And hopefully I'll also be a little bit experimental even though it's top bottom top bottom type thing. I don't know why that would make me less experimental. Am I overcomplicating things? Yeah, I am. See you tomorrow. Welcome back to day number four, where yes, I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday because that's part of the experiment. But given how I framed the camera, I don't feel like you can see what I'm wearing on the bottom. Time for a high kick? Wah! I am wearing these orange trousers that I have been wearing quite a lot this year, actually, for something so bright, which I feel like I say that sometimes, like for something being so X or even though it's so Y, and then I realized that I, I don't know if those specific pieces are really that out there. Comparing this shirt to these trousers, this shirt is really more out there. <laughs> but anyway, I chose to pair this with the orange trousers and I have worn this tucked out, just like flat like this all day. But I do think it might have looked better if I had tucked it in. It's going to be really rough since I'm doing it one handedly. Um, but like if I tucked it in or if I tied it or something, it might have looked even better and like broken up my silhouette a bit because these are really high waisted pants. Like they are at my natural waist, more or less. They droop a little bit in the front, but you know, they are really high waisted and slightly too short, which keeps being a problem for me or keeps annoying me anyway. But I think maybe tucked in would have looked better. Even so, I felt good. I was worried that it was going to be too out there for my comfort level. With it being a really, really busy shirt with lots of colors and patterns and stuff on it, paired with a really bright pair of trousers, I feel like it actually really worked. I feel like these trousers complement the shirt better than the jeans did, really, because it's more cohesive. And I don't know, in a way I feel like the shirt looks a bit toned down since the same colors sort of carry on into the trousers. But yeah, I think that this looks dumb. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tuck that in because I was just tucking in the front with one hand as I was talking to you. But yeah, I feel like this looks really good. It felt pretty good. I also had people at work complimenting the outfits. I had one person who said at least twice that she wants to have these trousers, like she really likes them and she would like a pair for herself. And another person who said that I looked like a ray of sunshine <laughs> and that that was nice. So that feels good. Anyway, I am rambling. I'll see you again tomorrow. It's Friday. <laughs> it's finally the end of the work week. It's been a really intense week for me. Work, yes, but also I've had 
I've had something after work almost every single day this week or something outside of work almost every single day this week. And, you know, it's been going to physiotherapy and it's today we went to the bank to renegotiate our mortgage because apparently we're adults and we apparently own a house. Cool. But anyway, I am wearing these same orange pants as yesterday, which if you watch this video up until this point, you know, <laughs> you know that I swap bottoms or tops every other day. And yesterday I swapped the shirt. So here we are. And if this color combination of these pants and this cardigan looks familiar to you, you might have seen this video, which is the Kathleen Illustrated style challenge video I made where I wore these pants with a t-shirt that is this color, at least extremely similar. I think it might be like the slightest bit off. Uh, and I realized during that video that that combination really quite worked. But what I have actually changed for today, what actually counts for today is this t-shirt. Now I figured this t-shirt would work well with the pants because there are rainbow stripes in here, including orange, which is the same shade as the trousers. So that worked really well, but I figured it would be a little bit too cold wearing just a t-shirt. And yes, I did wear just a short sleeved shirt yesterday. Don't question my logic. And I do also feel like the cardigan sort of helped tie it all together. I feel like it looks better than it would have with just a t-shirt, especially for the weather that we're having, which is rain. <laughs> so much rain. <laughs> this is the outfit though, and I'm very happy with it. I felt like it looked really good, actually. I feel like it was a nice combination and, you know, the shirt ties in with both the trousers and the cardigan because there's orange and green in the shirt as well as, you know, blue and red and purple and a bunch of other colors. But I feel like it looked really intentional and in a way it was, but it also wasn't super intentional. So yeah, I liked it. Tomorrow, Saturday, we are probably gonna spend some time outside going to, we have an open air museum, semi close-ish to where we live that has a bunch of like old buildings and animals and stuff like that. And yes, it's gonna be pouring down. We are not really prepared, but that's the plan at least, we'll see what happens with that. But what I will carry over into tomorrow for this experiment is the t-shirts. I might choose to also wear the cardigan, but that is optional. The t-shirt is the piece that I have to style for tomorrow. So I'm gonna have evening now. It is, it's like a quarter past five and I've gotten home from work and I wanna eat and sleep and eat and sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. Once again, I am doing a style challenge and once again, I have gotten sick. I am filming this clip like a week. I think about a week after I filmed the previous one and I didn't remember what I wore or what I showed you last. So I had to go back and check and I think I'm doing it correctly. I did wear clothes for two more days after I filmed that. And I think the last thing I showed you was this t-shirt cardigan and orange trousers. I sure hope so, because I did wear this one day and then I wore something else that I'll show you in a second uh, for the following day. But I have been sick for a few days. It's Saturday now. I got poorly last weekend and not really worn a lot of clothes <laughs> since then. I've worn PJs and stuff, but not things for this challenge. So... Yes, I don't want it to continually be that I do a challenge and get sick, but it hasn't been the case in the past prior to the Barbie challenge, so I'm sure it's fine. But yes, I am wearing the same t-shirt and cardigan that I hope I showed you in the previous clip. Nothing new to say about them, really. Same opinions as I shared yesterday <laughs> in the previous clip. And then I just put on these light wash denim jeans that I've had for a number of years and wear a lot in the summer and they have amazingly large pockets for being women's jeans. Uh, I like my whole hand is in here. My whole hand, my phone can fit in there, but I can't show you that right now because the phone is the microwave. <laughs> the phone is not the microwave. I could not fit a microwave in a pocket. The phone is the microphone. <laughs> but yes, comfortable. I like this outfit. It's again, playing it a bit safe. Like, wearing these two with orange was definitely a bolder choice for me than wearing them with just jeans. Everyone wears jeans, you know? But my challenge here is actually swapping something every day. That is what I have as the core of the challenge. The challenge isn't 
wear things no one else would wear, go completely wild and crazy. I'm allowed to, but it's not the point of the challenge. But I'm gonna show you now what I wore on the following day and resume the challenge, probably for a little bit. I still haven't decided how many days I'm gonna go for. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe a week, in which case it should be over with the next outfit or possibly one more or another week. We shall see. Hello, I just sat on my foot. So my leg is asleep from like, you know, knee down. So if I'm leaning a bit and looking a bit uncomfortable, that is why it's starting to come back. So it's like tingling and it's, it's a lot. Um, <laughs> anyway, here is what I believe is day six. I am filming this and the previous clip back to back because I wore them both. I wore that one on my last day of being healthy. Oh my God, my foot. <laughs> And this one I wore on the day I actually got ill and then I haven't really been wearing clothing. <laughs> so I will resume this with whatever I wear today or tomorrow. I might just wear PJs today, we'll see. But either way, here is what I believe is look six, <laughs> seven, I don't even know. Oh, okay, so I'm wearing this. I can't really show you this, can I? I am wearing the same jeans from the previous day. These are these light wash sort of mid-rise um, jeans that I wear a lot come summer and I really like them. I like the uh, wash of them and they're comfortable and I like them a lot. And then I've paired them with, I didn't actually wear this with rolled up sleeves. Should I take those down? Maybe. I have paired it with this shirt that I thrifted in January and it is February. February. I thrifted in February. doesn't really matter. It's this nice striped uh, actually Polo by Ralph Lauren shirt that I got ridiculously cheap for it being branded. I don't care that it's branded. I just really like the colors. I would still like it if it didn't have a little horse and um, jockey. But yes, it's got pink and purple and blue and orange in it. Uh, the blue might be more of like a mint, but yeah, I like this shirt a lot. It's very comfortable. It's one of my favorite finds this year, but I have only really worn it one way. So whatever I put on today or tomorrow, will be a challenge, I guess, because I don't want to put it with jeans again. And I've only worn it, I think, with jeans and with the orange trousers I wore earlier in this experiment. I don't think I've worn this with anything else. Interesting. <laughs> and now, as I'm filming this, I'm filming this clip on the 2nd of September, and it's getting cold now. I think it was like 13 degrees outside this morning, which is cold. I mean, it, to be fair, it was like 11 degrees outside in the morning a few weeks ago, but I think it doesn't really get higher than, I don't know, 18 maybe? Which still sounds warm. Either way, I am ready for fall and I feel like the weather should catch up. We do have a large tree in our garden. We have multiple trees, but we have one large tree that is actually getting yellow leaves already. And it's been raining nonstop for like three weeks. So I'm ready for fall. Anyway, this is a very comfortable outfit. I like it a lot. I love the shirt. I have liked these pants for many years. Uh, yes, I am wearing knit socks. <laughs> knit socks that have definitely um, seen better days, but it's fine. I will be back to show you the next outfit, which should feature this shirt. So let's see what I managed to do with that. All right, it is the following day. I didn't really get dressed yesterday. So it's the next day of this experiment and the next day of just time. <laughs> I am wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday and not much more to say about that. It's still nice, it's still comfortable. I love the shirt. I kept the sleeves roll up today. I think it looks great. And then I paired it with these linen trousers that I'm sure you've seen before probably if you've been watching my channel. Uh, they're very heavily featured in my barbecue video. I'll link that up here. And I love them. They are great. I love them. They could do with being like an inch or two longer, but it works well in summer, so I'm not complaining too much. And I just love the way they fit and the way they feel and the way they look. So I'm very, very happy with them. And then I'm gonna step a bit closer so you can see this a bit better, perhaps. Uh, this has pink and purple and sort of a minty green and a little bit of like orangey peach in it. And I pair them with these pants, which are definitely a lot brighter of a pink. And then I wanted a belt and you can see the belt I went with. It is a turquoisey mint. It is, yeah, that looks about right, that color. 
Uh, it is a lot darker than the mint on here, but I was choosing between a pink belt that is very, very similar in color to the trousers, which I wore in that Barbie video. So again, linked up here and a purple belt that you've probably seen before as well. It's like a light-ish purple belt and this one. And I think all three of them would have looked good. Maybe not all three of them, if I didn't need three belts. Although something, something sparked in my mind as I was putting this on this morning. But I think the pink would have looked good, this one looked good, and the purple would have looked good. And I'm happy with my choice. I have had a lot of luck recently when it's come to belts. I have gone from having two belts to having like 10 belts because I've just kept finding them for really cheap in thrift stores. And I now have a red and a green and a yellow and turquoise and purple. And like I have so many colors now, which I think will be really good. I do like wearing things singed at the waist, um, usually with something that matches, but I like the variety and I think it'll look really good with a dress or with trousers or a skirt or whatever else I'd be wearing. I am really excited about it. And this is the first time I'm wearing this one out and about, but I think it looks good. I am really happy with it. And I think this belt looks really good with the trousers, but I think it all came together quite nicely, if I do say so myself. I spent today running some errands, which also resulted in me in a second-hand store, but I didn't buy the belts, so it's fine. And then I saw my parents unexpectedly for like four hours, which was nice. It was a nice way to wrap up the week. I um, I worked Friday and now I've had the weekend to sort of recuperate a bit, I guess. And uh, it's back to work tomorrow because it is Sunday and it's a busy week because September is going to be so busy. But I will continue this challenge for the following week is my plan. So tomorrow I'll be wearing these trousers again, maybe with a different belt, maybe with the same one. Again, the belt is not the deciding factor for this. And then we'll just see what I pair with it. As of right now, I have no idea. I, have, I haven't even looked at my clothes, but I'll come up with something and it might be super wild and crazy, or it might be really chill and relaxed. We shall see. All right, it is the following day. It is Monday. It is three minutes till 8 p.m. and my phone is lining up the ceiling. Uh, I just got home from work like 20 minutes ago. I didn't get home from work 20 minutes ago. I got home post-work 20 minutes ago. I have been running some errands and doing some fun stuff like that, which was fun, but I didn't expect to get home this late and I've had a headache since like two o'clock. So I just want to shower and go to bed, but I have to film this because otherwise I'll forget and then be confused and forget. So here we are. I am wearing the same pink pants as yesterday. Again, I love these pants. They are so, so comfortable. And I kept the same belt on, partly because I was tired and uninspired slash lacy this morning and I didn't feel like changing it. But partially I also do feel like it goes with the shirt, so it just worked out. And with that, I am wearing this shirt that I showed in my pastel thrift haul for summer thing, video, whatever I called it. I will link it up here. And it hasn't actually gotten used this summer because as you might know, if you've been here and you've heard me talking about this, the summer didn't turn out to be the very, very warm, dear God, no, please stop, heat of a summer. It was very, very rainy. And I could have worn this, but I, I didn't for some reason. And I'm glad I did today. It is very, very comfortable. And I really feel like it goes with this look. I did catch a glimpse of myself in the um, mirror uh, in the bathroom at work and I felt like I looked very grandpa. Not in a bad way. I just, the shirt and the pretty, really high-waisted pants, pretty, really high, yeah, whatever. The high-waisted pants and like the way this shirt turned kind of square with being tucked in. It gave me grandpa core and I don't mind grandpa core. I have several pieces in my wardrobe that really are, really give that. And um, while my intention maybe for this shirt wasn't that, I like it. So tomorrow I am going to keep wearing this shirt with some sort of probably possibly less fun bottom than this. I considered on my way home during the drive, I was like, hmm, what could I wear tomorrow that isn't jeans and that I haven't worn before? It's going to be relatively warm tomorrow, upwards of like 22, 23 degrees, uh, which is 
totally making sense now that it's September and it wasn't that warm in like July, but it is what it is. And I considered like, oh, do I want to put on my Axel Oil pants? But I think that might be too much. I think I can print mix those, but I don't think this is the print to mix with those. And don't you worry, I have not forgotten that I do intend to make a video of me styling those dungarees specifically. But yes, I'm gonna go take a shower now and hope my headache goes away in the next like five seconds because obviously that could happen, right? And then I will just figure out what to wear when I have to wear it, I guess. I'm excited for this experiment to continue. I don't really know what I'm gonna be wearing, not just for tomorrow, but onwards. Um, which makes sense, because if I don't know what I'm going to wear tomorrow, I don't know what to then pair that with on Wednesday. So I guess that makes sense. But it is fun to be doing an experiment again. And I think I think this experiment might work better had I planned it out and knew what was being changed out every day. But I like it. It works. So I'm excited to see where the rest of the weeks, the next six days takes me with this. And... Hopefully I'll put together something fun and exciting for me and for you. But let's leave that up to future me to figure out. Me right now wants a shower and to go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. All right, here we have the Tuesday outfit. And I've shown this skirt a couple of times before, not during this experiment, but in other videos. I got it towards the end of May, beginning of June, I believe. It's a denim skirt that has a, a slit down the front. I don't know if you can see the, the bottom of the skirt, but it hits just at my knee, basically. Um, there's a slanted ceiling here and I'm tall, so I don't know how well I can show you this. Maybe like that? sort of to my knee. And I've paired it with the shirt from yesterday because I feel like if you've watched this video this far, you have an idea of why I'm wearing the same top. Um, I've paired this together and I think it looks okay. It's a bit bunched up in the back right now, but I think it looks okay. The problem that I'm having is that the skirt is a little bit big. It always has been. I'm not shocked by it. I didn't put it on this morning and go, oh no, it's too big. But it always has been a little bit too big, which is good for there being room to tuck things in, which is how I wear this skirt. But it also means it doesn't sit quite right. It moves a bit when I sit down or when I, you know, it moves a bit. Now, it isn't to the point where the shirt gets untucked and all that. It stays tucked in enough for that because it's a pretty long shirt. It would hit me like here if it wasn't tucked in. But I feel like there is something about the silhouette that doesn't quite work. I don't know if it's because the sleeves are, they look to be as long as the shirt is, although the shirt is tucked in, but like they hit at the same spot, which is at my waist. I don't know if that is making it look weird. I just don't love it. And the thing is, I haven't worn this skirt in many different ways. I've basically, I think I've only worn it with button downs. That's a skirt, button downs. <laughs> And I want to try something else for tomorrow, so let's hope that goes well. I do think this skirt could look really cute with a crop top, of which I own two. One I got just the other day, i.e. yesterday, and um, it's not really crop top weather, and I don't really want to wear just like a crop top and the skirt to work. I'm also a little bit worried that if I do wear a crop top with this and it hits at my waist or a little bit above my waist, that the skirt being a bit too big, which you can't really see, I think, right now, but there is a little bit of gaping in it. It's not too bad. Like, it still touches the small of my back. It doesn't stand out or stick out like this, like some jeans would do, for example. But I don't know. I think maybe if I wore a crop top, a small, short, little tight thing, that the skirt would look bigger than it looks like this. It would be the same size skirt, <laughs> but maybe... Proportion-wise, it would look different. I won't try that tomorrow, but maybe I'll try it down the line during a different experiment or just a random week. It's Wednesday, and for the first time, I think, ever, I am wearing this skirt the same as yesterday with a t-shirt. And I know I complained a bit yesterday about how I don't really know how to style and use this skirt because I don't feel like it looks great with shirts tucked in, like button-down shirts tucked in, which was the only way I had worn it until today. Today I just put on a yellow t-shirt, bright yellow t-shirt, you've probably seen it before if you've been on this channel, and I feel like this works so much better. I've been comfortable, I feel like this tucked in looks better than the shirt from yesterday at least, 
And granted, the shirt from yesterday is larger and boxier than this t-shirt is, but I just think this looks pretty good. I still have some issues with this skirt where I feel like it is a bit big. It doesn't fit me exactly the way I want to, but I do still want to keep trying to make it work. And I think this is a step in the right direction. Also, today was a work from home day for me, which was very nice, meaning I didn't have to go see anyone. I still had to show this outfit to you. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm wanting to move in a certain direction this week. And this week needs some planning out so that I, you know, when I wear this tomorrow, I can change out the bottoms and then I can pair those bottoms with a new top. And like, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to do a little bit of planning. And as far as I've gotten right now is I know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And then I have an idea for Friday, basically. But this will look really good, I think, with what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And again, I'm, I'm happy with how this outfit looks. I feel like it works. I probably could have gone to work this way. And the thing is I had a different top in mind that would not have worked for tomorrow, um, but it would have worked okay with the skirt. I'm happy I went with this, both because I realized that, hey, t-shirts might be the way to go to use this skirt. And also because this, for tomorrow's bottoms, it's gonna be top notch. Hello, time really got away from me and it's now very dark and I should put dishes away and go to bed, take a shower before then. But I felt like I should update you on, I'm trying not shine myself in the face. I figured I should update you on today's outfit and we'll see if I can make myself fit in the frame. The further away I go, the darker it gets and I need a new light system or just a, a, a light I can sort of angle like this, but from the ceiling. Uh, try not to be too distracted by the light. Uh, I am, but you know, you don't have to be. <laughs> so I'm wearing the same yellow t-shirt from yesterday and this is what I had in mind when I put the yellow t-shirt on yesterday, knowing that I would wear it today as well. I wanted to wear my axolotl dungarees and that is what I have done. And if I step a bit closer for you, you can probably see that there's no yellow on the dungarees. This is an orange and the colors and pattern that you see here is what repeats all down the fabric. There is no yellow in it, but I feel like it still works. I will still make a video of me styling these dungarees in different ways. I haven't gotten there yet. Partly because one of the outfits that I'm planning requires a sweater and I haven't really been wanting to put a sweater on or rather I've been wanting to but the weather hasn't really been sweater 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 appropriate really even though I want it to be but for now I'm playing around with different t-shirts underneath I have worn these with a pink t-shirt which is the same dark pink as is on here and I have this yellow one, a blue one, and a green one as well. And I think they would all look really good. There is green on here, not a lot, but there is green. And I think my t-shirt is a little bit darker than that, but I think it would still work. And the blue is definitely darker than the blue on the dungarees. But the four t-shirts are a similar shade of their own color, I'd say. Don't ask me about color theory. That's not why I'm here. And, you know, saturation, brightness, all that. I, I I don't know. I think they look good together. And so I think all of them will look good with the dungarees. That is my expert opinion. But yes, very comfortable. Once again, when I've worn these uh, dungarees, I have gotten compliments from people at work, which is really the only people I see, apart from home, that they like them, that they like the dungarees. The people like the dungarees. Uh, <laughs> and it's so colorful and it makes them happy and all that. And it was very nice, again. And I will also say that I have felt pretty happy today. I feel like I've been a bit cheerful today, at least at times. And like, I've caught a glimpse of myself just, you know, looking down or in a mirror or something. And they make me really happy. These make me so, so happy. I am so incredibly glad that I got them. They were pricey and they were new, which two things, like I, I prefer secondhand and I prefer not super expensive, <laughs> but they are amazing and I love them so much. And I have now washed them since I got them. I did wear them a few times without washing them, which is fine because they didn't smell or anything. I didn't get stains on them, but I wanted to be able to wash them obviously and they did wash really well which is nice i was a little bit worried about the color bleeding the pink bleeding i don't think it did although something in that load did bleed so 
I'm just not gonna blame these. Tomorrow I have a planning day, basically, uh, at work. We are gonna, I'm gonna be in a meeting the whole day, basically, to plan for the future. And I'll be wearing these dungarees. I haven't quite decided yet what to wear them with. We'll figure that out. I'll figure that out before you do. Just so you know. <laughs> but I'm excited to wear these because I do like them a lot and they're so fun and they're so comfortable and I feel really, really good in them. Which is always a plus. Now I should really do my evening chores and take a shower and go to bed to be ready for what will probably be a pretty intense day tomorrow. But I'll check back in with you tomorrow with how I style these dungarees, what I wear them with, and then it's only Saturday and Sunday left until I wrap this experiment up. Have you had fun so far? I've had fun so far. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, outfit number 12, I think? Friday's outfit, either way. The sun is setting, so I apologize about the light. Get used to this by now because weekends just disappear, so I guess I'll have to film in the evenings which also disappear and are dark, so enjoy. But anyway, today was a really, really big work meeting for me. The entire day was like a planning, how we're gonna move forward, do we do all these things that we should be doing type meeting, which was intense. It was good, it was very good, but it was, I didn't feel like we got to finish any of our conversations before it was time to move on to the next topic. Um, and it's a lot of stuff that we, didn't get done and we'll have to do it at a later point. Several of which are exciting, but it's a lot of stuff. Either way, this is what I wore. <laughs> and it's funny because I work with a lot of doctors and nurses who were present during this day and they wear scrubs or the Swedish equivalent of that. And I get to wear whatever I want at work. But today they were not at work. They weren't in the hospital. And so they could wear whatever they wanted. And I still stand out. <laughs> I still stand out. I am very short on space on the SD cards. I'm gonna try to breeze through this. But yes, uh, same dungarees as yesterday and I've paired them with a green t-shirt, which if I move closer, there is green in the dungarees. It's not exactly the same color, but I feel like it works. And depending on how the light hits the shirt, it's closer in color to the green on the dungarees. Not much more to say about this. I love these dungarees. I haven't paired them with green before and I feel like it really works. See you tomorrow. I have a confession to make. And by a confession, I mean two. First of all, I didn't put on any clothes really on Saturday. I had a very nice lazy day at home where I did next to nothing. I sat in my PJs all day up until it was time for me to cook dinner, at which point I put on this t-shirt with my um, PJ pants. So I can't really say that I put on clothes fully on Saturday, um, which is fine. So I decided that, you know, I wore this with the dungarees on Friday and I decided that, well, I haven't actually given this t-shirt a second go because pairing it with PJ pants, I wouldn't wear those PJ pants with another top out somewhere on the Sunday. So I just decided to keep wearing this t-shirt on the Sunday and I paired it with these black sort of skinny jeans. Also, I've been to the doctor today to get some blood work. That's why my arm looks the way it does. My third confession is that this is not Sunday. Today is in fact the following Thursday, the 14th of September, and I've been meaning to film this clip. I meant to film it on Sunday and then I meant to film it on Monday and then on Tuesday, and then so on. And it's been a busy, hectic, busy week, which I was warned, and I warned myself, and I think I warned you guys, that September would be for me, but it has been really busy. And so I haven't gone around to it until now. Now it's a quarter past seven in the evening on the Thursday, uh, and the sun will set in less than an hour because fall is here. And I love fall. I just don't love the perpetual darkness of fall. Either way, this is the final outfit. It's not a very exciting one, but at least I finished. You know, this is the last fit. I succeeded in the experiment if we, you know, don't care about the fact that I didn't put on clothes on Saturday. Technically, technically, I don't know what pronunciation that was, but technically I should have worn, say, this on the Saturday and then on the Sunday, 
kept the jeans and worn a new top. So I'm one outfit short, but at the beginning of the experiment, I wasn't sure if I was doing one or two weeks. So you getting 13 days, if I'm doing that math correctly, it's pretty good, isn't it? I have enjoyed this experiment. Now, again, with me filming this clip four days, five days after I actually wore this outfit, I do feel a bit detached from it. I haven't started editing this video yet, partly as well because September has been busy. And I can't remember much of what I've worn. I know I wore the dungarees because I wore this with the dungarees. But I've enjoyed this experiment, even though I can't remember much of what I've worn. I think past me, me in the previous clips, has had opinions about what I've been wearing. I do feel like I ran out of bottoms. Like I do definitely have things I didn't wear. I have a ton of skirts I didn't wear, for example, and at least one more pair of pants that I didn't end up wearing. And when I say like, I have even more than that if we count in my winter wardrobe, but I haven't actually started wearing that yet because it has been a little bit too warm. Granted these I mostly wear in fall winter. So, you know, temperatures really have dropped since the weekend and onwards. Today when I went to work, it was five degrees outside, five degrees Celsius, which was pretty cold. And I think the top temperature today was maybe like 15. So, it should be getting more towards autumn now, which I am excited about. I don't love the cold, but I do love being able to, you know, snuggle up, wear sweaters and scarves and all that. And the fall foliage is like my favorite thing <laughs> every year. I could do without the darkness, but that means you can light candles. So there is that. But yeah, I feel like it's a little bit late for me to wrap up this experiment. If you've been watching this whole video and made it to this point, wow. Uh, maybe you know my thoughts better than I know my thoughts, or my progressive thoughts throughout the video, I should say. I know my thoughts decently well. But yes, this is the end of this video. I do have some other style challenges on my mind that I'm excited to do moving forward. I don't know when I'll start them. If you have any ideas for challenges, like style fashion challenges, you would like me to do, I would love to hear them. I really do feel I say this every time, but I really do feel more inspired by my clothes when I'm doing a challenge, when I'm in some way or another limiting myself. Like with this, I could only wear the dungarees for two days. Neither outfit I put together with them, I guess was super exciting. And there were many outfits throughout this that were pretty. Okay, that's fine. But there were some that were really good. I wore, it's coming back to me now. I wore the uh, pink trousers and the striped shirt and the turquoise belt. That was a really good one. But either way, I do feel inspired to do more challenges when I've done a challenge. It's a shame I'm not wrapping this video up until now, several days after the experiment actually ended and started, I guess. But let me know if you have any ideas for challenges down below because I'm intrigued. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. So I hope to see you then. Bye.